Creator Plus HTML Elements and Practices, a Brightspace tip brought to you by the Anne Arundel County Public Schools Office of Instructional Technology. Creator Plus is a powerful tool within Brightspace that enables teachers to create engaging and interactive content for students. In this video, we will take a look at the options Creator Plus offers, as well as go through the process for creating a sample of these options. To utilize Creator Plus, we will start in an HTML document. As you can see, I'm on the content page from my course. You can create an HTML document within a unit or a lesson, or edit an existing one that you already have. For this demo, I'm going to select Create New and start with a blank HTML document. After giving my document a name, I will find my Creator Plus Elements and Practices from this plus sign that represents other insert options. That will give me a drop down that if I scroll towards the bottom, I will see Insert Practice and Element. These are the two components of Creator Plus. One of the nice things about working within an HTML doc is that I can use a combination of practices, elements, and other Brightspace features like video notes or text. Let's take a look at our element options. Elements are typically features a teacher would use to deliver chunk or sequence information. So as you can see, we have options like accordion, click and reveal, quotes, and flip cards, along with some others. Let's take a look at what the process is like to create one of these elements. If I choose tabs, I can already see that the creation process for an element is pretty guided. For this particular element of tabs, I have options to format my tabs if I want them to present horizontally or vertically. I have some default learner instructions that prompt students to select each item to learn more. And then I can get into building my tab and my content that relates to that tab. So you'll see some text in the background. For example, under tab, it says that a tab might be a word or a phrase, something to keep brief. These notes are definitely helpful with the creation process. Along some of the steps, if I go back up, there are also these question marks that provide additional information about what that step is asking for. Now, for this demo, I'm going to create a pretty basic example of tabs, but there's certainly more you can do with this when given the time to explore. Just to give you an idea of how we can categorize or chunk information. Now, within your elements, you have the option to preview what this looks like from the student view by clicking preview at the bottom. Just like the name suggests, tabs is going to organize my information by tabs or groups. So under Maryland counties, the related content follows underneath. If I click Maryland cities, again, the related content follows underneath. If I'm happy with the way that this element turned out, I can go ahead and insert into my HTML document. As I mentioned earlier, I can build more than one activity, a practice or an element within the same HTML document. So let's take a look at the Creator Plus practices. Going back up to my plus sign for other insert options, and this time I'm going to select Insert Practice. As you can see, these practices represent some pretty familiar questioning types from fill in the blanks to multi-select or true or false. The creation process for a practice is very similar to an element in the sense that again, it's guided. Let's take a look at a drop-down fill in the blank example. Within this window, I need to give my practice a title. I 
have the option to give it a short description, but this is not something that would be visible to the learner. I will, however, give it some instructions. And the most important part of this practice is building the content. This particular practice prompts the teacher to provide root question text. This is where I'm building what my statement is that includes my blank. To create the blank within your statement, you are going to use brackets. So if you see in the directions, it says to use option one, you can also use blank one but the key point here is to use the brackets. So for example, if I want my fill in the blank statement to be blank was the first Maryland County, I would begin with my brackets, blank one, in case I have other blanks within the same sentence, was the first Maryland County. Those brackets are what's going to prompt Brightspace to create that fill in the blank dropdown. So notice if I click update blanks, on the right hand side, I now have a preview of what this practice will look like. But I'm not done yet. I need to insert the, cre the correct answer, which should be St. Mary's. And within the boxes below, I need to insert some incorrect answers to build my dropdown. So I can say Calvert, add another incorrect answer if I'd like. And this preview is building on the right hand side. This preview is great to monitor while you're building in order to double check that you are creating it the way you are intended for students to see it. So you can see that it starts with a prompt for students to fill in each blank with the most appropriate word. There is this down arrow with select answer to indicate where the dropdown will build. And then there's also an option to check answers. This is simply a way for students to gain immediate feedback on whether or not their selection was correct. There are some customization options within this practice on how students will understand it to be scored from all or nothing, correct inputs, right minus wrong inputs. And if you notice, I have one of those question marks for additional information if I wanted to learn more about scoring options within practice. But again, this is just a way for students to see feedback on their correctness. I also have the option to preview. And if all looks good, I will close my preview and I am ready to insert this into my HTML document. I will get the prompt that my practice has been saved and I can select the X in the upper right corner to close this dialog. I now have both my tabs elements and my drop down fill in the blank practice within my HTML document. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy Creator Plus in Brightspace.